Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And no question, this ought to be a game that gets pulses racing. It's Dynamo Dresden facing Borussia Dortmund. Yes, thanks as always Derek, we've got two good teams here so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations, and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Julian Brandt plays with Torgan Azard on the flanks. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. And they kick off here. And a good tackle. Holland. Azar. And now Guerrero. Mastery of the passing game. And this is Royce. A very timely interception. Oh, what's he gone and done? And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Possession lost, intercepted. On the offensive, Kade. Physically strong and secure on the ball. A really effective shielding under pressure. Opportunity missed. Bellingham Brandt with it Holland Azar back to Holland and Bellingham can they forge ahead they do and you've got to say they're good value for the lead Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. So the game back in business. It's Borussia Dortmund with the lead here. And he keeps going. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Happy to take on the shot. Well, it might still work out for them. Perfectly fair tackle. And it will be a corner. 
Well, it's a great chance here, and don't these fans know it? Played over. I think it's fair to say the pressure from the defender put him off a bit. Dahoud Brandt with it Promising looking attack A chance to whip it in Brandt Takes on the shot Oh really good reflexes And danger averted He's driven in the corner. The crossbar got in the way. The corner kicks keep on coming. Yeah. Playing it in. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. And tipping it over the crossbar. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. And still dangerous. Not a time for composure on the ball. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. And Bellingham into the advanced position. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Torgan Azar on to Holland. And in the perfect position to read it. So nearly at half time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Oh, in with a chance! And fine goalkeeping. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, Marco Reus, frequently inspirational, and this game is no exception, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, advantage Dortmund after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from the issue being settled. Holland. Well timed tackle. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Moving it forward. This looks promising. 
He must finish! Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly think so. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Delivering it. It's not a particularly good corner there. Torgan Azar. Guerrero. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. In the right place to cut out the pass. Yannick Stark. Schroeter. Oh, he's given the ball away. Marco Reus. Brandt. Oh, good use of the ball. Brandt. Reus. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Well, a second goal for them here. It. It's a neat move. And what can they do to stop him running at them? And they could get one back here. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. And they will make the change now. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? And a no-nonsense clearance. It's a perfect challenge. Into the final 20 minutes. Might be able to set up the chance. And Bellingham has eyes for goal. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. see what a good goal this is he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance that's a great strike Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, where do I start? They've been totally outplayed in all areas of the pitch, but it's their defending that's really been poor today. No structure, too open, not enough desire and a lack of urgency. This is a worrying performance. 
Royce. And the keeper stretching to deny him. And a double substitution it's going to be. And taken short. Chan. Chance, Meunier. And a fantastic diving save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again. The deep corner cuts out so many of those defenders, including the keeper, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. But there's not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Holland, Emre Can now, and tidily played, effective challenge, Knipping, and there it is, the final whistle, not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today, defeat for them. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me. Well, it's certainly true that Marco Reus can give defenders nightmares in any match, and that is the case in this game, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.